Specific activity of enzyme is defined as the number of units of enzyme present per milligram of protein. So let's say this is the enzyme that we are interested in studying. And this represents all the other proteins present in the given sample. High specific activity means the units of enzyme present in the given sample are more, while the other proteins are less in number. Low specific activity means the units of enzyme present in the given sample is very less, whereas the other proteins are present in large number. Low specific activity is observed when the enzyme is not yet purified and there are lots of other proteins in the given sample. Recall the definition of specific activity. It's the units of enzyme per milligram of protein. So in this case, since the other unwanted proteins will also contribute to the final weight, the units of enzyme present per milligram of protein will be less. Now let's say you purify this enzyme by column chromatography. During purification, we collect fractions and one of the fraction will have the purified enzyme. In this fraction, the number of units per milligram of protein will be much more. Hence, specific activity will be high. Specific activity of enzyme increases by several fold after purification. Let's understand the concept of specific activity with a simple numerical. Let's say you have collected the culture supernatant which is positive for amylase. Performing protein estimation by Follin's method will tell us how much protein is present in the supernatant. Let us say this is 25 micrograms per ml. Since the same supernatant also has the enzyme amylase, we can use this supernatant for amylase assay. Let's say 1 ml of supernatant was mixed with starch and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After incubation, the reducing sugar was estimated by DNSA method. Let's say the reducing sugar estimated was 10 micromoles. So first, let's calculate the units of enzyme. One unit is one micromole of product formed in one minute. So in 30 minutes, we are getting 10 micromoles of product. So one minute will have how much? This will be equal to 10 divided by 30, which is 0.33 units of enzyme. Now, since 1 ml of sample was used for the assay, we can say 1 ml of supernatant has 0.33 units of enzyme. Now, protein estimation using 1 ml of sample shows the presence of 25 microgram of protein. So let's use this information to calculate specific activity of enzyme. So specific activity is units per milligram of protein. Now 25 micrograms has 0.33 units of enzyme. So 1000 micrograms which is equal to 1 milligram will have how many units? So the calculation will be 1000 multiplied by 0.33 divided by 25. This gives 13.3 units per milligram of protein. Your 1000 micrograms will be equal to 1 milligram.
So this is how we calculate specific activity of enzyme. If the enzyme sample is crude, then the specific activity will be very less. If the enzyme is purified, then the specific activity will be increased by several fold.